ESPN 94.1 FM at AM 930 present The Drive. Brought to you by Huntington Federal Savings Bank. Local then, local now. Member FDIC. We are here today at the Union Pub and Grill, 1125 4th Avenue in Huntington for today's edition. Welcome in. I'm your host, Paul Swan. Every Monday, even when I'm not here, Dave Walsh, the former Young Thunder and Herd quarterback, is here. I knew you'd be here Monday. That's why I, I wasn't. I, I knew know. you would be here. Let me tell you, last Friday I was going, I'll gladly pass the wheel back to you Monday. What? You saying it wasn't <laughs> fun last it week? It was fun, but let me tell you, it made me appreciate what you do five days a week. Can I get that in like a front page column yes. of the, uh, I'm her, uh, the Insider told you, Magazine? There you go. I told you that two years ago at that talk show over in Ashland. I said, hey, you guys, that's it's an hour, but let me tell you, when you have exchanges back and forth like we do, it goes by pretty quick. There are a couple of times last week I was going, really, that much time left? So, no, I do appreciate what you go through every Monday through Friday, dude. Please continue to tell me how great I am. I, is, I, Mike, I, I, is Mike Mike taping this? Yeah, I'm recording it. it. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm recording it. I'll okay. take care of that. All right. I, it'll be all right. It's already gone viral. Yeah. <laughs> if not, we know we'll we'll use your smartphone. Okay. Since you don't use it, I'll use it. We'll, I, think, I think that's smart. <laughs> we'll, it, no, the, the phone's smart. It's just the person using it possibly yeah we are here today as we mentioned 1125 fourth avenue huntington the union pub and grill it's monday you know what that means that means we are here with the proprietor of yes. the organization himself herb stanley we he, got the monday yeah. special dollar fifty bottles two dollar call shots every monday here at the union pub and grill you know what the music was different too i knew you herb were, was here because I, I came in and i heard the music was different you were willing to just say okay scrap it and let's listen to music for an hour you were rocking. He was like, it was some, good. He had some blues on, just rocking the guitar solos for seven or eight minutes here. Yes. I, I thought he was in the corner air guitar play. <laughs> I really did. But I knew I knew Herb was here yes. immediately because the music was different. You went, wait a minute, something's got to give. Yeah, here. the Herb's music here. was different. Not that, not that I'm saying this is like a different type of music. So we here will take your phone calls, 877-420-TALK, 877-420-8255. You can join us on the Miller Lite phone lines. Miller Lite hold true, great taste, only 96 calories, the original light beer. I'm talking Herb, I'm talking. I'm on the air. No speaker this week. I'll okay. get you next week. All I'll, right. I'll get you next week. <laughs> okay. Your music's back. Yeah. Speakers, uh, speakers in the shop, Herb. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll get into one. See, Herb's mad at me because the speaker's not here. Yeah, but we know what's coming back. What? I'm not loud enough? <laughs> so what's Herb doing? He just throws the music back on. <laughs> I got you, Herb. It's good. It's good. So uh, we are here. We have this kind of fun every Monday yes. at the Union Pub and Grill. We're getting a little bit closer to the start of football season. In a few minutes, we'll hear from Doc Holliday. Um, don't tell anybody, yeah. but um, – Doc, he's pretty happy. Is he? Yeah. He's pretty happy with a few how things. You, how did you – that's hard to read because sometimes he doesn't really you put can his tell cards in, on the table. You can tell in his voice. Okay. You, you, you can tell in his voice. So, we're going to hear from Doc in a few minutes. Uh, it was over at practice on Saturday. Uh, they scrimmaged a little bit more. So, really, a great opportunity for a few fans. Uh, yeah. Because they got over. the pads on now, right? Yeah. They're, uh, they're looking okay. They're looking all right. I know that's not really a ringing endorsement there, but they're looking good. You really can't tell anything. I mean, if, yeah, because one of those things are hitting each other. Yeah. You want, not, you want a different color jersey. Which Defense be, was flying around. I thought the offense was looking all right as yeah. well. I mean, I, we have said, I think the offense will be a little more diverse this year. Brad Lambert have his little uh, imprint on the defense, and I think things are going to be uh, pretty solid on both sides of the ball. And special teams play last few years has been very well. So you get to three phases, as Doc would say, you win three phases, you win football games. I'm sure we'll hear that once or twice over the course of a 13-week th season. Yeah, we're going to hear a lot of Doc <laughs> Holliday, and uh, we'll have Doc in a few minutes. We'll get uh, his thoughts on what he saw Saturday. And, and I thought Saturday was a good benchmark. It was a good indicator of what this team's looking like, and they're back at it it's today. Looks, it's two weeks from Saturday. I think they kick it off. Playing on the 31st, The 17th is Saturday, so you're going to be uh, – they're two weeks out. BMI. I mean, so it, it, 31st. Yes, yeah, so you think the season, you know, they start practice and they're going, wait a minute. Two weeks from the day, we're, I was over a Friday night for the get together, and I'm thinking the next day this place is going to be rocking with VMI. Even though it's a holiday weekend, I think it'll be a good crowd that night. I think we're. There's a little bit of a buzz right now, I think. 
hold my uh, don't hold me to this. What eighteen days? I haven't. Uh, I'm not lo- eyeballing the calendar doing the That's math. Eighteen days. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're eighteen days away. Yeah. Nineteen, I eighteen mean, days. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Playing in August. We're under three weeks away, which usually goes like that. And the next thing you know, they're playing VMI. Right. We're sitting here today. Next thing you know, we'll be standing on the stage at the stadium for the pregame. Are you excited for that? Yeah, looking forward to it. Are you excited for that? Yeah, very much. Okay, so if you're, technically, if you're going to look at today as the 12th here, uh, you have got, uh, there are, I think 19. Yeah, I think we're at yeah. 19. Yeah. Okay, I was going to say, don't hold, my, don't, hold, right. yeah, don't hold me to the math here. Okay, but still less than three weeks. Less than three weeks, yeah. yeah. And and I, and I think the pieces have, are, have been put in. There will be more additions. And about a week out, everything's installed. And, it, you know, the dock will be on that Monday. It's time to refine everything, get ready, the focus, and then go out and take care of business on Saturday. That will be we, – we know what's coming. We can almost program what day of the week it is by what he tells us. Well, I don't want to go in dock math because remember <laughs> – Oh, the, that's right. Because I mean that Friday of boys, we're going to have a crazy week because we're yeah. off schedule. Uh, we're off schedule. But well, that's is, another uh, thing. This is our Tuesday. And tomorrow's <laughs> going to be our Tuesday or tomorrow's going to be our Wednesday. Yeah. And uh, no, I don't want to go on that no, schedule. No. Right now it's normal. Yeah, so. let, let's just stick with Saturday. Let's stick with dock schedule. And you have some uh, stuff from the scrimmage. That, that you yeah. saw some good things. I saw some good things. On both sides of the ball. So, hey. I thought us, they did okay. Let us know what you think. I thought they did okay. I thought they, yeah, for for where they're at, I think they're doing. Yeah, because you remember this time last year, we had no idea who the quarterback would be. And Did not have an idea. That's not an issue. I still think we got to get a couple more weeks into this before you can really. I mean, the VMI game is not going to tell you anything. No. If they do poorly, that's going to tell me a lot. <laughs> but I, I, the yeah. VMI game is not going to tell me anything. No. It's going to be the Boise State game. That's going to be the first real measure. Yeah. September will tell us a lot. Because I mean, we've seen guys look great in practice and never heard from again. Right. I mean, he, he, as you've mentioned, the schedule by the end of September, BMI, Boise, Ohio, Cincinnati, come the 1st of October, we'll have a pretty good idea what, what's in store. It could be any – people have had them anywhere from 4-0 and to 1-3. and three. So. 1-3 and three is fair. Well. Well, if, if, Doc you're, pointed if, you're, out if, you're looking, if you're looking at it from like, okay, I don't know much about this herd team, yeah. and I know Boise's good, well, and I know Cincinnati's good, but Marshall's we know taking, what Ohio's got. Marshall's beaten Cincinnati before. Marshall's competitive with Ohio, and Boise, right. there's not really enough of a there's sampling no size stick. there. Yeah, but as you you know, you've mentioned it before on your shows that when you've had Doc on, the three non-league games, all those teams are picked to win their league. So, you know, it's not like the last place team coming in. you, you got three teams picked to win their league coming, you know, two here, one there. So there's your measuring real quick. All right, when we come back, we're going to hear from Doc Holliday. We've got his comments from Saturday. It was like practice scrimmage time for the Thundering Herd. We'll get his thoughts on what he saw out there, and we'll give those to you when we continue with today's edition. Paul Swan and Dave, Wil- Dave-, Almost oh. you, Dave Wilson. Uh-oh. You know why? Because I'm listening to Dave Wilson today. He's filling in for Hoppy Kirchville over on uh, you know, Metro. I read that. Yeah. I read that. So I've, I've called you Dave. Wow, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know which one of you i got to apologize to. I'm mean, going to apologize to you, yeah, he Wilson. Was, uh, Dave was going like, don't panic if, if you heard his voice. Hoppy's not here. It's me. I don't know which one. Of, yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. See, that's a little ring rust here. <laughs> we'll get it squared away when we there come we back go. here. We're at the Union Pub and Grill. You'll listen to The Drive, presented by Huntington Federal Savings Bank on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. Now, back to The Drive with Paul Swan on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. We're here today at the Union Pub and Grill, 1125 4th Avenue in Huntington. You can join us every Monday here at the Union Pub and Grill. We've got two specials for you, $1.50 bottles and $2 call shots. It's every Monday here at the Union Pub and Grill. You can also join us on the Miller Lite phone lines at 877-420-TALK, 877-420-8255. Miller Lite hold true, great taste, only 96 calories. It is the original light beer. And, of course, every show presented by Huntington Federal right. Savings Bank. You know why? Because this show makes money for people. There you go. That's what we do. That's why you have we, a bank. We make money for people. <laughs> That is my sole there you go. goal in life, make you money. Right. I like to make myself some money, money Dave, but, but I'm here to make others make money. Make them money, then hopefully it'll trickle, exactly. trickle down theory. You know, a guy doesn't have a money problem, Who? Doc Holiday. No. You know why? Because money wins. Exactly. Yeah, Doc, um, 
Doc looked like he was um, he was happy with a you few things. You mentioned like a little out of the ordinary, or maybe he. Well, no, no, he wasn't. Not jumping, ordinary, but he wasn't jumping up and down, skipping. But, but he knows what he's got. Yeah, he knows it's going to be a good season if they put the work in. If this team lives up to the potential, and yeah, of course yeah. he hates that word. It's you know. You've always said it: potential and uh, performance. Yeah, he likes potential performance. Potential will go five and seven. Performance, we have a chance to do a little better than that. If he gets the performance, he thinks he can get out of this group. Yeah, yeah he's going to be pretty happy with this season. And Saturday was more of a practice scrimmage time. I counted like maybe 35, 40 people there at one point yeah. uh, checking out practice on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, I know Saturday was a holy day for a lot of people in the city. Rails and ales. Yes. It was a holy day, Dave. <laughs> I get up there, and they're talking about rails and ales in the press box. And, yeah. Uh, I'm surprised there wasn't a shipment from rails and ales into the press box. No, no, no. no. Can't no. do that. Overpriced. Okay. Yeah, we can't okay. afford that. No. Okay. No, you you got to go. You got to you got to <laughs> buy your ticket early. There you go. Or you get you get the markup. Yes. No, don't don't encourage them. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, seriously, caught up with Doc Holiday after the game. Um, I kind of felt like a game, you know, scrimmage, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Again, Dave, I'm um, I'm trying to get into that game get. day mode a week too early. Yeah. And. Defense was flying around. That was one of the first questions that Grant Trailer from the Huntington Herald Dispatch asked, and um, we'll take it from there. Here's Doc Holliday. I go here. We go again, I guess, and uh, just uh, excited to get going. I know our kids uh, are looking forward to it as well. Um, had a great summer and uh, got challenging schedules, you all know, and got a lot of expectations and, and standards are extremely high, which is a good thing. That's the way it's supposed to be here at Marshall. So our kids understand along with those. We apologize. That's not the right yeah. cut. We'll get that to you here a little bit later on. But uh, Doc is uh, in a, a, a good place right now. He's, uh, he he's pretty happy. But uh, that's not the only thing happening as far as Marshall football is concerned. Uh, NFL, oh. it's making news. Kickers are yes. a thing again. Uh, right now, <laughs> I would say the buzzword in the NFL, if you read the, uh, on your smartphone or whatever you want to do, um, Corey Bedvick. Four for four on field goals the other night. One from 55, two punts 55. Uh, he created quite the stir because last year he did well. They had to, he got assaulted, if we remember, did not even get to play. So he has that performance, and everybody's a buzz. And the Ravens are probably going to trade him because they already got the number one kicker in the NFL. And guess what? They did. He's at Minnesota for a fifth-round pick. Minnesota's happy. The Ravens came out pretty good on that. And uh, right now, Bedwick is the uh, buzz of the NFL. I mean, uh, the Athletic, Adam Schefter, all of those people are talking about Corey Bedwick. The only bad thing is, Corey, they don't play indoors up there anymore. They're outdoors in the winter when it gets a little nippy. So at Lambeau Field or home game there, it's going to be cold. But if he's playing, I don't think he cares what the temperature is. Have you ever heard of a situation where a kicker gets traded for a draft pick? I know. All the NFL people you're reading, I was like, dude, that's like never. For, especially for that a fifth round pick, that high a pick that means you know the Ra the Ravens knew what they were going to get something for him, and Minnesota feels like okay we gave a fifth round pick and, and we're happy too, we're happy because you know what they're anticipating him doubling, kick and punt and did we saw it what two years here, things he did Saturday was nothing new to us we saw him do it all the time here I mean so you're taking you're telling me I'm taking Vevik in the first round of my fantasy football well draft. I was just curious if he's on the roster I'll be interested to see where he falls. I mean, Justin Tucker, I think, is the kicker for the Colts. He's the number one in the NFL. He'll go high. But, I mean, that would come draft time and in fantasy drafts, if he's with the Vikings, where will he fall? Because if they do what they're supposed to do, moving the football, he will get chances to – he will be on the field. Play kicking more than punting. By the way, here's your draft advice. Take the kicker last yes. in your fantasy and take a kicker from a high-octane offense. Right. So, if you think he's going to be kicking a lot of extra points, take him. Right. Well, okay. I remember years with <laughs> fantasy draft, it'd be like, don't even draft one. On, yeah. on that game, we go, who's available, go get him. Pick, pick, kicker, on, yeah, pick yeah. a kicker on free agency. Kicker of the week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think we got Doc Holliday. We're going to try there this. We go. We're going to try this again. Again, we're, it's a Monday. Um, we're – I'm gone one week, and I'm I'm sort of fighting like Ma uh, Manny Pacquiao <laughs> went against. Um, that button's here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of feel like I feel like I'm Pacquiao here in Mayweather fight. You know, uh -oh. it, it, I had to little warm up a little uh -huh. bit. All right, here we go. Let's um, hear Doc Holiday after practice scrimmage on Saturday. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, like I say, I've always. 
thought at this time of year, this early in camp, if the defense doesn't dominate and do some things, then you got a problem defensively. But saw some new faces out there step up and make some plays, and that was good to see. I'm one of those guys, Derek Pitts. I mean, he's a he's a guy from just down the road, and and obviously he's new at this system, but it looks like he's uh, acclimating himself pretty quickly. Well, he's starting to figure out what's going on. You know, we're a little, of course a little different here defensively than what they were than what he played before. So. He's starting to understand our scheme, and you can tell once he understands what he's doing, he plays pretty fast. So it's good to see him getting in there a good couple of plays. Same thing with Quentin. I thought Quentin Dean made a couple of plays, and uh, and uh, or Quinlan Dean, and I got Quentin, and I got Quinlan. So Quentin uh, you know, did some nice things, and Quinlan Dean also did some good things. So it's, it's good to see those young guys in there and some new faces making plays. We're going to need everybody when it comes down to it. I feel like Pitt's physicality has really grown from high school. It yeah. seemed like, yeah, I mean, he took down Knox pretty uh, pretty handily there with a nice form I think tackle. It's grown, and I think it's grown since he got here in June, you know, I mean, to be honest. I mean, you know, he was he was not in very good shape when he got here, and, uh, and you know, he's developed over the summer, and he's continued to work really hard. And, uh, you know, I, I like what I see out of him at this point. You know, offensively, I know that uh, you know there were some throws. Grant Wells is another guy that yeah. continues to impress. Made a pretty nice throw to Gamage in the end zone uh, he's, where Gamage could high point it. Grant's as good a young freshman as ever been around. You know, he's a just true freshman right now. You don't think you think he's been around here for a long time, but he's a true freshman this year. So, yeah, he's he's a tremendous player. He's got a lot of a lot of potential, a lot of talent. We're glad he's here. He's this has to continue to develop, but. Uh, Glad he's here. I know you've talked about it before, but how is that the product of him getting here early and then rolling oh, early yeah, in that, yeah, having that spring? Yeah, you know, not only just yeah, the, the mental part of it, the physical part of it. You know, he's in a weight room and you know he's part of us all all winter and then of course all summer. So he's so much further ahead than what a normal freshman would be, especially the quarterback position. Doc, you got so many good young backs behind the two guys yeah. that are starters. It just seemed like uh, you know we saw a different number in their play after play after play and make a play. Well, I think it's, uh, as, we, as we remember a year ago, I mean, Knox had, didn't play a game. To, uh, he didn't play, line up and play, I think it was week nine. You know, didn't touch the football at the running back position. So, you know, those young guys, I like what I saw out of I think all three of them are really good players. And, uh, you know, we just got, you know, Knowledge McDaniel, I thought, made a tremendous run. But all those guys, Sykes and uh, Pepelon, all of them uh, are what we're supposed to have here at, at the running back position. But, you know, I think Joe Early's playing well. I think uh, Sheldon Evans, so you know, Kyle, Tyler King and Knox, but yeah, as we, you know, you think you got, you think you're loaded and then all of a sudden about the ninth game last year, we're sitting there with just a couple guys and Knox has to come in and, and, uh, and he was ready to go. So one of these young backs has to do the same thing this year because at some point their numbers are going to get called and they got to be ready to go play. I know we've talked about the, uh, the wide receivers, the older graduate transfer wide receivers that have come in, but a guy that just seems to keep making plays, Stone Scarcellium, you talk to the strength guys and they're like, that's a product of what he did in the off season, that, that progress that you're seeing out here. Well, two young guys I know are sort of Stone and, and Gant, Corey Gamage. And the thing I like about both those guys is they're both doing a tremendous job on special teams. You know, Stone's right now and, and Corey both are on our punt team. You know, they're on our punt block team. You know, they're on a kickoff return team. So that's how the wide receivers going to get, get in the game if they can play special teams. And those young kids, not only are they playing the special teams, but they understand the uh, you know, techniques and what it takes to be a good special team player. So that's going to carry a long ways with those guys as far as getting early playing time. Doc Holliday, short and sweet, but uh, pretty excited about practice. Yeah. I mean, for Doc. For Doc. Yeah, for Doc. Not jumping up and down, high fiving everybody. He, yeah. he was pleased, though. You could tell. Right. You could tell he but, was pleased. Yeah, the one thing he makes the point of the depth, because I remember last year, Charlotte, everybody's hurt, and all of a sudden you we're in the press box going, "Who is Brendan Knox? Who is this guy?" He had not touched the ball. Brad Lambert learned who he was later in the day, and but and Doc says, "Hey, next man up mentality. You know, you're, they're here now, but if Tyler goes down, Brendan goes down." These guys got to be ready to go. It happened last year. It's got to happen again this year. You, you think Brad's the mark of a good football team? You think Brad goes over to him and is like, "Yeah, you're, um, <laughs> yeah. Why'd you have to do that to me last I year? I know. You, I know. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> and look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work every week to stop you, buddy. That's right. That's right. <laughs> he's a he's gonna be an important name here. Exactly. Keep an eye on. Yeah, but I mean, they'll have, you, you got your front liners as you know, but if. As you've always pointed out, you're only one, the number twos and threes are only one step away from moving up. Something goes wrong, somebody goes down, everybody moves up a notch, and you got to be ready to go. Football season's almost here, and we'll talk more about it when we continue. We're here today at the Union Pub and Grill, 1125 4th Avenue in Huntington. The Drive, presented by Huntington Federal Savings Bank, continues on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. 
This is The Drive with Paul Swan on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. Presented by Huntington Federal Savings Bank. We're joining you today from the Union Pop Grill, 1125 Fourth Avenue in Huntington. Every Monday, great reason to come down is because you get $1.50 bottles and $2 call shots. Every Monday. You know, Mondays are tough. Yes. Just listen to us every Monday. <laughs> Mondays are tough. Yes. We have to come down here every Monday to, to unwind. You have to suffer through your drink. Yeah. Need a refill. You you haven't got me my refill yet. What? I know. Uh, next break. I mean, come on now. I know. Dave, I, mean, I, I, ex- I'm I paying I ex- you good money. I ex- <laughs> I know. Wait a minute. I'm slipping. They're paying me good money? I know. No, okay. No, I know. No, 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 let's not scratch take it, that. Let's not take it that far. All right. As Perry Mason would say, strike that from the record. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> Miller Lite phone lines this hour, 877-420-TALK, 877-420-8255. Miller Lite hold true. Great taste. Only 96 calories. The original white beer. This is exactly how I thought today would go. Completely unfocused. Yes. And just all over the place. Yes. One it's hour a, to get through and just, whatever happens, happens. Just us. Hanging out of the table, that's immediately my first thought. Like, what's the show going to be like today? It's going to be just like this. Fly. Just, on y- on yeah. the fly. So, um, you like soccer? Uh, I know where you're just going say yes. Just say yes. Well, uh, just I can tolerate it, but the, our guest on Friday had nothing to do with it. I told some stories about our guest, who was Timmy Stevens from the paper. Soccer is a dirty word around him, but I can handle it. Timmy doesn't Not like, enamored. Well, no, no. Timmy doesn't no, like soccer. No. What? He could get a one-on-one. I told people he could get a one-on-one with Mia Hamm when she was the thing in soccer. He would decline or in football defer. Somebody else do it. I ain't doing it. That's him. He does not like soccer. You know, they've got the – I've been in Walmart for several weeks (laughs) shopping. Yes. And every time I go, there's a display. I don't think a single one has moved. They've got the – and I hate to see this, too. they got the display of, like, these uh, women's soccer player collectibles. Oh, off the World Cup? Yeah. They were there before the, during the World Cup, and they're, they're, they're still, still there. there. They're still there. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like nobody is. Well, you know, uh, there's a lot of flack about the salaries and some things that happen, what they're going to pay them. But, you know, the, once the World Cup was over, they're playing the pro seasons now. And you turn it on, and it's like there's not a lot of people in the seats. There, there's some people there. They have created a buzz, but it's, you know, it is what it is. But they captured it. Hey, they captured the nation no, they for did that great, month. Yeah, they, did their, they did what they're supposed to do. But the Favored, time. and they won. I just don't know where the growth is going to be. I don't know. But, hey, everybody's got a major league you, soccer team now. Like you said, if you go out to the, 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 the Glen, YMCA Kennedy Center on Saturday, there's a chance out there because it's packed with soccer players. What's the difference? The youth soccer. Why, why isn't the transition from youth to pro? What's going on here? Something happens because, you know, you see all those kids. Then there's really no middle school to speak of. Then you get to high school, it starts to thin out. And then, as you mentioned, the college level, the uh, Marshall women uh, victim of maybe some, well, I don't know what it is, but they're not thought of very highly in Conference USA soccer. Well, let's look at that. Yes. Because soccer is actually a high, high point in Conference USA. Yes. It's, you've got two teams in the men's side that are nationally ranked. You've got Charlotte and Kentucky. Right. Uh, Kentucky is an associate member of Conference USA. They're in the league for soccer. <laughs> so... Um, the women's uh, preseason poll comes out today. Coaches voted. So right. this is what the coaches say. Um, they have got North Texas as the uh, almost unanimous number one. North Texas with 13 first place votes. That's what surprises North Texas, okay? Denton, Texas, is that a soccer? Is Texas a soccer hotbed? Well, or is the guy just bring in good players? Both, probably. Both, I guess. Because uh, we were talking about that the other day. Six of the th- 100 teams or lower in the preseason poll for CBS were out of Conference USA. The last three were out of Texas. And me and Timmy went, you mean Texas doesn't have enough players to go around for those three schools? Last three spots. And I was going, whoa, and here's North Texas. Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of schools in yes. Texas, too. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Oh, yeah. Uh, but North Texas, uh, 13 first-place votes. Uh, they're number one. Florida Atlantic is second. Rice third. UAB fourth. Then Middle Tennessee is fifth. Old Dominion and Louisiana Tech tied for sixth, and Charlotte's eighth. Whoa. Southern Miss is ninth, but someone voted them first. They're ninth, and they got voted first. They got a one next okay. to their, their There's name. There's probably so a story on that one. The, the voter who voted them number one, how did you explain this? These are coaches. Yeah, uh, I know. Yeah, explain they, this one, coach. And then you got Western <laughs> Kentucky, Marshall at 11, 
UTSA, UTEP, and FIU. I don't think you can vote for yourself because if that's okay. the case, <laughs> if that's the case, Southern Miss voted for themselves. But uh, well, with Marshall picked to finish eleventh, it'd be nice to know if North Texas comes here or have to go to Denton. That'd be nice to know the preseason favorite. If they have to come to Huntington, it'd be kind of nice. Would you like to know? Do you yes, really I'm, want to know that? Yeah, it might be those one of those days. Well, here's, the answer what, is, here's what you need to know. Drum roll. <laughs> They're at North Texas okay. on Sunday, October 20th. Okay. But they have um, they have Charlotte, UTSA, Western Kentucky at home, Old Dominion's at home for them this year, UTEP's okay. at home. Uh, so they're on the road at Rice, North Texas, and Louisiana Tech uh, between the 18th and the 27th. Okay. So they have to play the team on the road. Mm-hmm. Kevin, tough, tough assignment. He'll know that when that date rolls around. Yeah, and so uh, we had Kevin on the show a few weeks ago. Yeah. You can go back to the podcast. All you have to do is find the show on Apple Podcast or on Spotify. You can right. listen to The Drive with Paul Swan on demand just by going to either your favorite podcast provider or just grab it on Apple Podcasts. So Thundering Herd picked 11. A lot of work to do here. I mean, you get a 14-team league. You're 11th out of 14. Got a lot to got a lot of work to do. Work's cut out for Kevin. He knows that. And uh, I think he's in a better situation though. I feel maybe like it's one of those spots where he can sneak up on some people. Yeah. Not a lot expected. Like the basketball women picked to finish down the line a little bit and came up pretty high. I feel like he's got a better handle of what his team looks like. Not really in a situation where yeah. okay injuries are an issue. I mean that's been something that's yeah. Played somebody him. goes down. Oh gosh, when they go to ones and number two goes in, it's like the drop off is severe. The drop off is severe. Same thing with football at times. It used to be the, but now Doc's got the situation. Hey, we're out of running backs. They throw Brendan Knox in. You never, you thought he'd been here. You thought he was a thousand yard back. And he had zero when he touched it. So. Well, that was Marshall's problem for a long time. Didn't have depth. Yeah. That yeah. had great ones. Yeah, but twos, twos and, threes. and threes. Yeah. And I'm sure Kevin Long wants to go. Okay, we got some decent ones, but twos and threes got to have to step up. If a one goes down or subbing out, give him some fresh players. Got to do it. And right now the coaches. Don't think highly of you, so let's go prove them wrong. Like Shana said last year for basketball, every game we play, I'm going to tell our team before we go, they picked us last or next to last. Think about that. Let's do something about it. And they did. Can that carry you, though? Can you sit there hey, every do time? Something. And, can I don't that know. carry you? I don't know. Because eventually you got to drop the ball and play. But it, it sounds good. And I'll tell you what, as bad as things were last year, that Rice game when the women were here and Rice was, you know, won the league. Six minutes to go in the game, Rice has missed like one shot for the day, and Marshall's only two points behind. And they end up losing by double digits, but it, it just showed you what they could do. Now maybe Kevin hopefully be the same thing. Hey, North Texas is loaded. They get out there, yuck it up, you know, play it up, and then steal one out of there, you never know. As long as you got to keep score, anything's possible. You know, this is – As a, you know. It's, this is an interesting league for, for soccer. Yes. Because everyone's got a women's team. Right. And – Half the schools have a men's team. I know. It's amazing. You've got All women, half men. You have to bring in New Mexico, Kentucky, and what, South Carolina? Well, here, I mean, here are your standards. For the men? Yeah. I mean, you got Florida Atlantic, UAB, FIU, Charlotte, Marshall, Kentucky, Old Dominion, and South Carolina. Yeah. That's your men's conference. Three of them aren't even in the league, except for soccer. Kentucky, South Carolina. Yeah. Is New Mexico in the hunt? No, New Mexico's not in Yeah. Okay, but still. So, so, of course, South Carolina, Kentucky, when you do play them, that's not that bad of a road trip. No, it's not. You know, Lexington right down the street, South Carolina, uh, you can get there within reason. Within reason. But it's a completely different beast. And I look at that, and then you see that uh, there are at least 500 teams in Major League Soccer. Yeah. There are 24 teams right now in MLS. Did you know that? 24. 24 teams. Well, I think the other night the two from Ohio played each other. The only reason Cincinnati I knew that. Cincinnati and Columbus. Yeah, the only reason I knew that is because I was changing channels looking for something. <laughs> there it was. And there were 15 MLS games on, it felt like. It felt like there were there were MLS, there was soccer all over the what television. What channel were you watching? All it, of them. Because the FS, like. FS Ohio on my network is, uh, they're not on dish right now. They're having a little pay squabble what we're worth. By the way, Nextstar still has a, a little problem with DirecTV. So if you're a CBS fan. Oh, I've been rooting that across the scroll. Yeah, you're still um, – I wonder how that's going to play out come first NFL game. And Sept- right, the weekend of September here's 9th. Here's the thing. DirecTV can get away with that for a week because no. usually the NFL Sunday ticket package, the first week is free. Right. So if you want to watch, say, 
the Bengals or the Steelers and you have direct TV, you better have the Sunday ticket package or you might want to make a phone call right. and say, look, what's the deal here? Well, I know they've been scrolling across the bottom uh, when sports shows are on. Uh, you can't watch these shows on WWK. can't happen. The golf, the tennis, uh, and, and like you say, September 9th, yep. 8 and 9 when the NFL kicks off. If you can't watch it, that's not going to be a good thing. All right, there is an easy way to get around some of this, though. Okay. All right. Uh, Streaming? Oh, yes, okay. actually, okay. yes. Okay. If you are subscribe to CBS All Access, it will it will stream, depending on your location, okay. your local CBS affiliate. So you sign up. Your address is Huntington, West Virginia. You'll be able to stream oh. Channel 13. Okay. So there is an option. There is a way. There is a way. If you're really needing to see <laughs> prices right or yeah. something. But on. you just think in this age of technology and high techs and things as well, you're watching it with your satellite and everything, and you can't get the channel. They don't, and it's not there. And you're going like, how is this possible? And see, <laughs> it's interesting because sports is a coveted pr- program yeah. for advertisers. At the same time, it's also an anchor, a weight on some of these providers because you might see the regional sports stations. Those might go away here in a few years. Yeah, exactly. The carriage might go down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, DirecTV might just say tomorrow, look, we're not carrying the Fox Sports channels. All right, Fox Sports are higher because, you know, you've got a lot of stuff like Indians, uh, Cavaliers, right. the hockey and stuff, and, and some soccer. And guess what? It's not available right now. It could go like this. All right, if you want to see those games, we have a Major League Baseball package for you. Okay. But if you, yeah, you don't want that, why should we charge our subscribers for – the sports channels. Yeah. I mean, Dude, that could happen. It's like, who's got the power? Who's got the power? That's like, why, like it not being on direct TV is still, they're still around. They haven't been shut, you know, shut right. down or something. I mean, like, sorry about that, but hey, there's still people still, it haven't shut us down completely. You know, we still have stuff to watch. You don't see that one, but you know what? It's available. So you're not even, you're not able to watch the Fox channels on Dish. Right. I do have direct TV with 13, but the dish stuff, when you go to the 411 or whatever it is, it's got FS Ohio is not available now. And the other, there's two out of there. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, you got dish and direct TV? No, just dish. But okay. dish is the ones right now with the, the FS okay, issue. I, okay. I was... Now, you got you got AT&T Sports out of Pittsburgh that we still have it available. But the FS stuff, like if you watch the Indians, or the, like the, you go Indians, Pirates, no, Reds, and Pirates, Indians. Top and bottom are not available right now. They're not on. All we can see is the Pirates. So if the guy for the Reds went off and then, uh, like the other night, went home run crazy, whatever, we didn't see it. By the way, this might be. the highlights, but we didn't see it. This might can't be counterproductive for me. What? But, um, wow, the Pirates <laughs> have, like, lost eight in a row. I know. Nine of the last ten. Well, I do go right by that network, but it's still there. But the FS Ohio, sorry, can't do it. Not available. And they, they had this disclaimer like, well, we're, the guy will come up, well, we're trying to resolve this issue. And we're, I'm going, how hard are you trying? It's either you do or you don't. That's what happens. But, it, but like you said, whatever they do, guess what, Dave? Your rate is this, and that's going to be this if you want to watch it. So, it's, you know, be ready. All right. You know what? We, um, we're here today. That's right. We're not charging you. That's right. And uh, you can listen to the program for free there's anytime. Many, anytime, and there's many ways you can listen to it after it. Exactly. And we'll have more coming up. We're here today at the Union Pub and Grill, 1125 4th Avenue, Huntington. You're listening to The Drive, presented by Huntington Federal Savings Bank on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. Don't worry. Paul Swan has the wheel on The Drive, ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. Come on, put your headphones back on. Come on. There we go. There you go. Back in time. Get, get here faster next time. With my <laughs> Run! It's like commercial break. Dave like, just takes my glass and goes Run. and refills it. I mean, seriously, he's like my own, uh, he's my personal hey, valet. Paul pays well. Don't let that rumor get no. started. Zero, baby. Hey, you know it. You yeah. know what I know. Hey. I pay as well as my <laughs> boss pays. Let's go. put it to you that like way. Like I said, hey, you will be locally that uh, on the first uh, Friday in September, you will be in Huntington, not Idaho, correct? Uh, you, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Uh, that's, that's all I'm saying. All right, you know what? We're here today. Union Pop and Grill, 1125 4th Avenue in Huntington for today's edition of The Drive on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930, presented by Huntington Federal Savings Bank and 
That's what you're headed after with this yeah, show, right? I'm, Yeah, I'm going to take the truckload of money that I make from this show, and I'm going to take it to Huntington Federal Savings Bank. That You got it right. And I think it's on the, on the out front, Paul Banks here. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, and if, if it's not, it should be. That's right. If he doesn't, we have room. Baseball action tonight. Pirates yeah. in action taking on the Angels. 10.07 first pitch. We'll have the game for you right here on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 9.30. Out of the NFL today. Antonio Brown loses grievance. He won't be allowed to wear his old helmet. Dude. Is that not crazy? You've From had frozen feet to a helmet. I dude, mean, you've on. had like five years, right? <laughs> Pick a helmet. They'll 3D print you one if you I need know. one. There I, mean, are thir- I think, what, over 30 brands approved? Pick a helmet. Dude, you get enough money to buy, get one that is a perfect fit. They will make it to your specifications right. or your head. Yes, but I mean – the grievance, and then they mentioned uh, up on watching the TV here a little bit. Tom Brady goes, I've been wearing the same helmet for the last five years. It's not the greatest fit, but we make it work. Yeah. I'm getting compensated well enough. I'll manage. Plus, I don't get hit, so I'm okay. My guys protect me. NBA schedule's out today. You know what? The NBA schedule makers have a sense of humor. I know. I saw that when I went during. If that was a blind draw, unbelievable. Mm, I wonder who decided that the Clippers versus the Lakers would be great for opening night. On TNT. Yeah. Uh, they'll probably tell you, well, we're trying to save money on travel. Is that what it is? <laughs> That's probably what they'll tell you. Is is that what it is? Yeah. Uh, really? Okay. And then before that, the uh, Christmas schedule came out, and you went, okay. It's almost like the who's who of basketball playing each other. I think the Clippers and them are playing again. I'm not sure. Here's the schedule. You, you I like it. Yahoo has put together the official vengeance game schedule. <laughs> Man, this is this – Vengeance? Is, okay. I, I love this. This, this is my um, – this is my kind of schedule it's here. Like I'm mad and you're going to uh, pay for the it. The Lakers take on the Pelicans four times. All right. Uh, the Clippers and Raptors two times. Um, Rockets and Thunder three times. Clippers and Thunder four times. Uh, Nets and Celtics uh, go at it four times. And they got a uh, – uh, I'm surprised not all of these are TV games, but yeah. it's it's early. It'll be on somewhere. Yeah, and then a major – I'm sure Direct TV will solve the issues by that time. Exactly. The Major League Baseball is not the only one releasing their schedule schedules. Came out. Yeah, I mean they're releasing their schedule. Um, NBA. I wonder, I wonder who the Reds get for their American League crossovers. Everybody. Yankees. I believe. Really? I be- uh-huh. No, no, no. I'm sorry. That's the Pirates. Okay. Yeah, I need to. Um, I need to look at the Reds schedule a little bit more. I was looking well, more the, at the Pirates schedule. Well, the Pirates, today. baby. That's your. You have them because right now, whenever the Yankees play the Orioles, they lose about 15, 20 balls a game for homers. So, just the highlights here. Um, and if you go down the list here, right. uh, MLB's got the like the highlights of all the all the teams. Okay. Um, with the uh, with the Reds, they have um, they got an interesting series against the Phillies. Okay. Um, the Reds will host the Tribe, of course. Of course. Yeah, that's a that's that, a given. That's a given, and the Pirates. Um, Who they get? They will have the Yankees. Uh, well, I tell you what, that would June be June 16th to 17th. That would uh, be fun. Yeah, and you know what? The Bronx have only uh, the Bronx Bombers have only played twice in Pittsburgh. I didn't know that. Really? Yeah, they <laughs> played in Pittsburgh only twice. Because yeah, right now, dude, they're losing a lot of baseballs when they play the Orioles. Yeah, like and then the Blue Jays. And then the Blue Jays. Yes. How about that? There you go. And they're probably going to go. Who gets stuck with Baltimore? Who gets stuck with Baltimore? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> no. Not me, not me whatsoever. But uh, yeah, so, so the Pirates will be in uh, PNC Park. Yeah, that would be that's, interesting. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's a that's that's well a, June. That means you've got enough games in that they're settled, you know, and they'll be b- bank, you know, bombing the balls over the fence and see how their pitching holds up. And and bottom line, it's the Yankees. I mean, they're going to be at the, the Yankees. B- will be in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I mean, Yankees. Um, let's see, uh, April. Uh, they've got. Um, they're at, they're at New York. Okay. Uh, Friday, looking at the online schedule, Friday right. and Saturday and Sunday of uh, April. So they go right out of the gate into New York. Could be a little nippy. Just about. Yeah, they also have the Blue Jays early on, too. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm looking at the Reds. My mistake. I'm looking at the Reds schedule. All right. Yeah, because uh, the link took me to the Reds schedule. It doesn't Uh-oh. matter. <laughs> uh, there's baseball, and that's okay. next year. Yeah, um, and that's to be for Wednesday. Yeah, so, hey, um, <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of Cubs on I the. Still remember that though. The Yankees will be in Pittsburgh. Yeah, the, there's a lot of Cubs on the schedule too. <laughs> oh gosh, we made it, Paul. 
finally. Well, welcome back. Yeah, uh, the um, Pirates are taking on Yankees uh, 5th and 6th of May. There's a – you want a road trip. There you go. You can do that. Um, Yankees homestand will be 17th and 18th of June. And then the Blue Jays will be a three-game homestand uh, right after that on Friday, Saturday, and All Sunday right. of uh, June, uh, 19th, 20th, and 21st. So I know where you'll be. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you, yep, you got it. That's where I'll be. For Dave Walsh, I'm Paul Swan. This has been The Drive on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. Good night, everyone. WRBC Huntington, W227BS Huntington, your flagship home of the Marshall Thundering Herd and The Drive with Paul Swan, ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930.